most of you already know, I have quite a few tanks in this room. And it's so hard to get some peace and quiet when you only hear like filter noises all the time and water running and everything. So um, this tank was making the most noise of the, out of them all because I had a um, hang on filter on it. It's not an aqua clear. I don't quite remember uh, which brand, but it was just making an awful lot of noise. I could hear it all the way to my bedroom at night. So it's really hard. So I decided to make a custom do-it-yourself filter, super quiet and quite efficient for the 65 gallon. So I started out with this air pump. This is a stellar air pump and it's good up to a hundred gallon. Um, so to this air pump I attached obviously an air tube and an air stone. And I had a spare cartridge from a um, power head filter. So I put the air stone all the way down this um, filter. Well actually it's only sponges right now. So all the way down the sponges and um, it filters through the top so you see bubbles go from the bottom to the top and it stays super quiet now it's efficient enough for the 65 gallon so I do believe for anything under 70 gallon it would be a good solution uh, maybe add two of them uh, if you have a strong num enough pump you can just put two air tubes and two air stones and do it twice <laughs> And um, the way I made it hold on the glass is that I drilled two holes uh, very delicately through the plastic containers and I put uh, suction cups into the holes and then I attached it just like that on the glass. So uh, it's really, really quiet. Uh, as you can see, the sponges were yellow and now they're turning brown from the tannins in my tank. So it is working pretty well all through from the bottom sponge all the way to the top sponge. So, and on top of it, uh, plants, they don't like when there's too much oxygen in the water. So if you have really high flow, um, like power head filters or canister filters or any filter you're using on your tank and it moves your water too much, then you get too much oxygen and your plants don't like it as much as if you had a little less flow and more CO2 inside of your tank. So it's really beneficial for the plants to get less circulation actually. And this filter is good enough for the fish to actually survive and have enough oxygen. And you also can notice there's no residue of um, any type on the top, no grease or protein or anything. So it's doing its job, as you can see. So yeah, and honestly, I won't say it enough. I love how quiet it got in here. It's really, really nice. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, please ask me below, like or dislike, but subscribe. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.